Okay, we'll proceed to our math subject review. Go page, please open your book on page 219. Page 219, 219. Let's review with the geometry, the polygons, okay? So let's start. We have here number one hexagon. How many corners and how many sides? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Hexagon has six corners and six sides. How about nonagon? Please count. That's right. Nonagon has nine corners and nine sides. How about heptagon? Heptagon has seven corners and seven sides. Decagon, nine, ten corners and ten sides. Pentagon, we have here five corners and five sides. And we added one, right? The octagon, which has two, eight corners and eight sides. So we have six. We have pentagon, hexagon, heptagon, nonagon, uh, octagon, and decagon. Understand? Remember that one. 5, 4, pentagon, 6, 4, hexagon, 7, 4, heptagon, 8, 4, octagon, 9, 4, nonagon, and 10, 4, decagon. Remember that one. Now, please go to, let's proceed to patterns. Please go to page 237. 237, patterns. <clears throat> Okay, for the pattern, you're going to identify which one will be the next one. We have here square, circle, triangle, square. What's the next one? That's right. It's the circle. It's easy, right? Next, up, down, left, up, uh, arrow, left, up, down. What should be the next one? Okay, very good. Arrow, left also. So that one is so easy. It's okay, this one is the pattern using numbers. We have here 200, 220, 240. What's the next one? That's, that's right. It's 260. It grows by 20s. So 20 and 220, 40, 60. Now look at the next one. 100, 101, 102. What's the next one? That's right. It's 103. Very good. Now, 600. It's 700. 800. What's the next answer? What's the next number? Okay. 900. Next, 625. 650. 675. What's the answer? Mm, that is 700. Very good. 500, 550, 600. What's the next number? Okay, very good. 650. Now, let's go to calendar. Okay, for the calendar, let's start first with the days of the weeks. Let's sing Sunday, Monday. Ready? Sing Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So what's the first day of the week? It's Sunday. How many days? We have in one week we have seven days. Very good. Now let's go to the months. January one, two. Ready and go. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. Okay, now we'll get I'm let's review using a calendar. Okay, so I have here a calendar, an example of calendar, and I'm going to ask question, and your the answer, you're going to find it here. For example, what month is shown in the calendar? It's what? This is the month. Very good. It's March. What year is in the calendar? So that is the year. For example, 
What is the date today? Okay, today is what? March 10, 2020. Next, what? how many Sundays? How many Saturdays? I'm gonna add, that's are the, some of the examples that I'm gonna ask you in our exam about calendar. Now we will be, we will proceed to time. Draw first a clock and then we'll give, I'll give you an example. For this one, you are going to, I'm going to give you a time, then you're going to write, uh, put the hand of the clock. For example, 11 o'clock and 25 minutes. 11 o'clock and 25 minutes. So, the shorthand is in 11 and then 25 minutes. Remember, you're going to count in by 5. Ready? Let's count. Go. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So, here is the 25. There. 11 o'clock and 25 minutes. Now, let's, let's go to the next clock. The example is... Let's use the word after or before. For example, 20 minutes after 12 o'clock. 20 minutes after 12 o'clock. So if it is after, your counting starts from here. If it is before, the counting will start here. Okay? So that's... 25 minutes after 12 o'clock. Let's put first the short hand in 12 o'clock. Now, let's count 25 minutes. Okay, five because it's after, so we'll start from number one. But if it is before, we'll start counting in 11. Ready, go. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So, it's here in Five. Now, let's use before. 10 minutes before 7 o'clock. 10 minutes before 7 o'clock. Put your short hand now in 7. And for you to get the 10 minutes before, start counting in 11. 5, 10. So, your long arrow will be there. This one is used the after and past R. Design. You're going to start counting in 1. But if it is before, you start counting in 11. Okay? So that's the one. I, I have some clock there in the exam and you will be the one to put the hands of the clock. Okay? Now, let's go to the comparing sizes. Comparing sizes. Okay, for comparing sizes, there are pictures there, and I'm just going to ask you, which one is the biggest ball? So, this one. Which one is the smallest ball? So, this one. Which one is the tallest tree? Okay, which one is the shortest tree? Which one is the longest pencil? So, this one. Which one is the shortest pencil? Okay, that one. So it, this, this one, the comparing sizes, it's so, it's so easy. Now, let's go to comparing sizes using units, okay? Using another object to measure the length of the object, okay? Next is this one. I have here my book, and then how many paper clips? So you will just count the paper clips, and that's the unit, Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Five paper clips or five units of paper clips is the the book is five paper clip, five K paper clips units. So that's all it's so easy. Okay, for the last one is collecting data and or collecting and organizing data. So I have here a chart favorite sports of the grade one we have here the sports are swimming football and basketball so swimming 
Let's count how many grade one likes swimming. One, two, three, four, five, six. How about football? One, two, three. How about basketball? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I'm gonna give you an a question. How many children likes swimming? Ready? Think. How about football? How about basketball? Okay. Which sport is least liked by the children? They don't they it means the smallest number of children voted for this one. Okay, that's right. It's the football. How about their favorite sports? Okay, it's the basketball. Now, the next question. How many children joined in this data, in collecting this data? What are you going to do is you're going to count all the, the students. Okay, we have here one. Count everything. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and then 19. So the answer is 19 students joined.